So we have a ton of board games. I Whoa. love playing board games with my son. He's seven. We have board game night. Every single night we play a game before he goes to bed. So around October, that's the time when I bring out anything with a witch, a monster, a ghost in it. That's what we play. So I'm going to show you a couple of our favorites that we've been playing over the past uh, couple of weeks or so. And um, all of these are in our store. And also there's a lot more detail on our website and Instagram. You can actually see how to play them because okay. I won't show you how to play them. But um, so this one has become one of our favorites. It's called Ghost Blitz. Mm -hmm. And this is a super fast paced game where you really have to use your brain. Um, you have to pick the object, uh, the correct object. So you roll these dice and, the, and depending on the, the coordinates that, that you roll, that'll tell you the object that you need to grab. The first person that grabs it is the one that gets the point. This one has been a real winner with, uh, with my son. He's beat me so many times with, with uh, Ghost Blitz. It's a super fun game of strategy and you really have to use your, your mind. So fun for kids, but I think it's also a really fun game for adult game night as well. I feel like it's it really, really does get into uh, into kids' reflexes there if you're yeah. rolling and grabbing at the same He's time. He's so fast. He's so much faster than me. I take my time and have to think it through. And this is another one that's, that's similar to that. So it's called Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza Halloween Edition. So this game is super popular. It's been around for a long, long time, but now they've come up with the Halloween edition of it. So it's basically, you can see the imagery um, it's little characters that are dressed up. So you have a taco that's dressed up as a pumpkin, a cat that's dressed up as a bat and that kind of thing. So the idea behind this game is it's a card game. And every time that you put down a card, you have to say in order, taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza. If the card that you put down matches the word that you're saying, you have to slap it. And the first person whose hand is on the pile, that's the person that wins it. Again, we're going with reflexes here. I think yeah. we're just keeping the parents <laughs> mind savvy and keeping thing keeping them quick. It is, yeah. This is another one that is great if you're working on math skills. Mm -hmm. So I would say kids ages five plus for this one. You have to add up the numbers that are on the card. So it's a little bit like Uno because you have to match by color. But then if you hit the number 13, the pot explodes and the person has to grab that pile. You don't want to be the one that gets the pot exploded in your face. So really great for working on math skills and a little bit of strategy because if you have a lot of high cards you want to be the first ones to put it down not the last ones to put it down because it'll make the pot explode so if you're working on math poison this is a really really fun card game so i'm always a big fan of any games and i know you do this a lot at chickadee where they're entertaining and along with that they're informative and educational as well and if that falls into that category it's kind of uh, maybe tricking the kids to learn a little something exactly. here and there as they're having a good time. Yeah, we love to pair education with fun, right? Because mm -hmm. education should be fun. It shouldn't just be about doing math equations on a on a worksheet, right? So why not play a fun Halloween game and get some math learning as well? So you focused on a couple that do kind of aim a little bit younger. Do we have something as the kids yeah. uh, edge on up a little bit that we can round out on here? Yeah, so this one is a brand new one. It's called Get the Ghost. And this one can be fun for all ages. It comes with three little flashlights, so three people to play. Um, you have these little cards here, and you're going to hide them all around the room or the house or wherever it is that, that you're playing. And these cards, you can see here, when you shine the flashlight on them, the image of a ghost appears. So you pull one of these cards from the deck and it tells you what ghost you need to find. And then you all run around with your flashlights and you shine the light on the, the glow in the dark card and you try to find the ghost that matches the one that is on your card. So a little bit of memory in there, also hide and seek, a lot of fun. Um, and you get the kids moving a little bit. So I would say probably kids even as young as age three could probably play this game. Three, four, I would say would be great for this one, but it's also really fun for grownups. I think this would be a super fun one for Halloween night, just yeah. to hide these ghosts all over and uh, and go and try to find them. So yes. get the ghost. 